Do you own one of these? Do you own one of these? Do you have issues like that? Or like that? Or like this? Oh, hey, that's not supposed to be like that. Oh, yeah, as you can hear it there. Well, look no further. <laughs> well, can you not solve your issues and you want to figure out how to? Watch this. Right here we have a Peerless 820. Luckily for you guys, I actually have two of them here. Check this out. This one's like brand new. Alright. Right now, this one's an open diff. Tony's is a lock diff. This one's going to the Magnum if you're watching that build. Cool. Alright. So if you guys have a three quarter inch axis strap diff like the ones I showed you there, and you keep breaking them or whatever, you just want to run bigger tires, well look no further. Right. Peerless actually did make some very good transaxles, and along with the uh, 1200, the 2300 uh, series, they made the 820 series, 820. Now the 820 offers a five, or sorry, a five or a six speed uh, transaxle with the verse, obviously, and the best part, one inch axle shafts, along with nice, nice bearings. Now it runs a very different system of bearings than a few other diffs. It actually has like nice uh, enclosed needle bearings or stick bearings uh, setups in the inside, which makes it crisp. Now, the nice part about this is along with those diffs, they're about 13 inches from center to center from where you mount it into the frame. Now, this diff offers you a, uh, a two spots. So obviously, you have your mounting ones right here on the inside. That's your 13 holes, so 13 inches from center to center and then you got your outside ones which are about 14 three quarters or 15 inches roughly now luckily uh, for you guys this is a bolt-in scenario all right so you can literally strap this in your motor mower the same with the same bolts and uh, pulley swap get it going or whatever while they get it going uh, un unlike for what you see on the magnum build there if you're watching that that one's a little bit different because uh, we're doing some frame stuff now, when you have a Peerless 820 or any of the Peerless stiffs that aren't a cast iron uh, casing, this one is not a cast iron casing, which sucks. That's the only downside I see to this, uh, the 820, is the casing itself. It is thicker than three quarter inch uh, shaft diffs, which is awesome, I do like that, but it just ain't doing. So I'm gonna put the, uh, the new guards on here, or the bracings as you can see. So for Peerless 820, we build up a frame guard on the bottom, or a frame plate, sorry, a skid plate. Looks something like that. Now it's not completely finished, it's still going to grind a little bit and weld it, of course. Or not weld, but paint it. And the Tony's diff here. He's got the top skid plate. So let's get into that up on the bench here. I'll show you guys why you need that. Alright, so looking at him closer now. So obviously this is the bottom side and this is the top side. All right, so main things you want to be covering is the whole bottom side because, well, of course, it's just wide open. And you hit a rock on that, you crack the case, well, you're pretty much fucked. Sorry for my language there. All right, so then you also want to be covering your bull gear. Now I did the full wrap around case because uh, I do not want to be dicking around. I just want Tony to be able to hit this on a rock and not worry, or anyone, myself, to hit it on a rock. That's the same reason I did the top mount. Now, so you can see that bottom mount's gonna come right up to the bottom. So once that's actually clipped in there and actually bolted in, sorry, I don't have it fully strapped in, but uh, you can see that's gonna come around the bottom and then the top there would be this side. So boom, this goes on the top. Now, I have uh, two mounting bolts. Now these are 5 16 which are not as what I want, or which is not what I'd like. So we made this bracket to bolt into the two mounting holes and then use a 3 8 bolt to actually mount to the frame, which is a very good and stronger scenario. All right, so if you're also wondering too, one thing I can explain. These bolts do not come tapped, but a 3 8 tap Boom, threads in very nice, tight squeeze. You got a 3 8 bolt now on either side. Mounting your transaxle, you want four points of contact at least. That means the two, the two spots right there and the two spots up front. 
build a bracket that goes out of these two holes or at least one of them to your frame. That is a big thing when building transaxles and building off-road mowers correctly. Is this is your this is this is your livelihood right here. This is what keeps you going out every trail along with your engine. And what do you do to your engine all the time? Oil changes, I assume, filters, that kind of stuff. So take care of your diffs, people. Now, we are so lucky. Nick, OKOM Nick, found both these diffs sitting in the dumpsters. It, like literally at the scrapyard. Like people threw these out because they do not know what they have because it's just a hunk of metal that weighs a bunch. To us, we pay so much money because we need these diffs. And we found them. What are we going to do to them? We're going to brace them up. Of course, we're going to make these things last. We're going to be re-greasing them when we can. Oil, like oiling what we need to. Just doing everything we possibly can. Because again, these diffs are just so important to us. Now I suggest, if you're building a peerless uh, off-road mower, you're going to be wanting to look at the A20. Because the A20 offers a lot, along with their other diffs, which, are seen, which you've seen in some of my other mowers. Hint, hint, musty, Ford, all the other mowers you've seen, they have the Peerless uh, 1200 and 2300 series axles. Now, for top input instead of off the side, the top inputs, the 820 is one of your best diffs you can be getting because I don't know, I don't really know any of the other ones that can handle uh, the abuse that these ones can. Especially once you do guards and shit, the bracing. All right, so I'm gonna get back to work. You guys need to be getting back to work too because a lot of you guys' mowers are breaking and it's just not right. <laughs> so let's get it done.